augmented reality or virtual reality? Which one is going to be the next hit in technology? Not all big tech companies see eye to eye on this issue. Facebook invests a lot of money in its VR hardware company Oculus. Apple and CEO Tim Cook are betting big on AR instead. Let's see what's in store. One, two, three, four. There's been rumors of Apple creating some AR devices, like a gaming headset or glasses, for a while now. So far, there's no release date or concrete information on these gadgets, but we've done some digging. What's the latest news on Apple's AR glasses? Why does Apple invest in AR? But first... Apple has been pushing AR for years. And even though there are no AR glasses out yet, AR tech is already deeply implemented in iOS. And it seems like the tech giant is preparing for an AR revolution, if you ask me. Let's take a look at Apple's latest hardware. The iPhone 12 and the new iPad Pro are equipped with the latest AR technology. They have a state-of-the-art LiDAR scanner that gathers detailed depth information about the room surrounding us. The 3D information can then be used for immersive augmented reality experiences. And with Apple's new neural engine, face tracking works even better than before. And that makes using AR in photos and videos easier and better. In 2017, Apple came up with their first ARKit. ARKit is Apple's platform for app developers who want to include augmented reality elements in their apps. Apple helps out with software and basically creates a training ground for developers. And that's probably a smart move. This way, app developers get better at creating AR experiences. So when Apple finally releases their AR hardware, users will have many and hopefully high quality AR apps they can use. Smart. It sounds like we're talking about the future here, but in fact, there are some cool experiences out there already. Do you want to know more about the bones in a skull and see them from all sides and learn about them at the same time? Not a problem with the AR app Complete Anatomy. Or are you moving or rearranging your apartment? IKEA Place lets you put digital furniture in your real living room so you can see what looks best before you go and buy it. Same idea here. With Warby you can try on hundreds of pairs of glasses. You pick your favorite and have it delivered to your home. That takes online shopping to the next level. Also games use AR. Minecraft Earth transfers the game's building mechanisms into the real world. If you want to find out more about the most ambitious AR game to date, just click on the link here. So, it's pretty clear that Apple invests in AR tech. Okay, let's dig a bit deeper now. Apple investing in AR makes a lot of sense for many reasons. First of all, if we look at their business concept and philosophy, Apple wants to make consumers' lives easier by providing intuitive devices. Using AR can simplify life in many ways. We will show you how a bit later. Apple has been looking for new areas to expand to for a while now. Sure, iPhones won't go out of fashion anytime soon, but for Apple it can't hurt to have another ace up their sleeve. So AR glasses might be the next logical step and it seems like they are part of a long-term AR plan. The prime reason. If Apple releases AR hardware that's connected to the iPhone, they will be making money through their App Store as well. We already heard that Apple hands out R kits to software developers that helps them include AR technology in their apps. And I think we can assume that Apple in the future won't be giving out AR software for free. So, when it comes to AR, Apple thinks of both hardware and software. Or as Tim Cook said in July 2018, we believe AR can enable profound experiences and Apple is uniquely positioned to provide the best AR experiences because of the seamless integration of our hardware and software. So this is our prediction. Apple releases some stylish AR glasses that eventually even become the hero device. Then, at the same time or even before, they push AR innovation and invite app developers to create AR experiences. Users pay for all of that through the App Store. And the developers pay a fee to Apple as well, of course. So, to sum it up, Apple could be making a dollar or two with AR if they succeed with it. And this is important. It's not like Apple is the first to think of AR glasses. Google tried it in 2014, but the product flopped. Who knows, maybe that's why Apple is taking so long to make sure they have a product ready that people will actually buy. 
In case you wonder why Apple is betting big on AR and not VR like Facebook, it might have to do with CEO Tim Cook's opinion on the matter. Even though it's not clear if the rumored Apple headset will be using both AR and VR or only AR, it's pretty clear that Cook is a big AR fan. He for example once said, I'm incredibly excited by AR because I can see users for it everywhere. I can see users for it in education, in consumers, in entertainment, in sports. Latest rumors say that Apple's AR glasses were pushed back to 2022. In 2019, it was said that the unit working on AR gaming headsets and glasses were reassigned to other tasks. So some people thought Apple put a halt to the entire development. But according to our research, that's very unlikely. Apple already filed several patents, hired AR experts and even bought companies specializing in AR. And even though there is no announcement for AR glasses so far, most people believe it's just a matter of time. In fact, some insiders say that Apple will first introduce AR headsets in 2021 with AR glasses to follow a year later or so. And this is how the rumors started. In 2016, different media reported that Apple is thinking about creating a wearable eye gadget that uses AR technology. The glasses would be connected to an iPhone and the wearer would be able to see digital objects or information in his field of vision. Back then, four years ago, Apple ordered some displays that can be placed close to the eye. But the amount wasn't enough to suggest that Apple was already going into mass production. What do you think about Apple's AR plans? Do you think the AR headset or glasses will be released anytime soon? And would they be better than other AR glasses in the past? Let us know in the comments. If you enjoyed this video, please give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more digital tech news. That's it from me for today. See you soon. Bye.